for the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say, no, to ungodliness and worldly passions, and to live self-controlled, upright and godly lives in this present age, while we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own, eager to do what is good. Titus 2, 11-14 is a powerful message. It reminds us of the incredible transformative power of the gospel in our lives. It highlights four key truths of the power of God's grace and salvation. 1. God's grace is available to all regardless of their background, ethnicity, or past mistakes. It is a gift that we do not deserve and it is through this grace that we can be saved and reconciled unto the Lord. Number 2. God's grace not only saves us from ourselves, but it also transforms us from the inside out. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions, and it empowers us to live a self-controlled, upright, and godly life. His grace and mercy changes our desires, our attitudes, and our actions, enabling us to live in a way that honors Him. Number three, the hope of Christ's return. As we eagerly anticipate the day when we will be with Him forever, this hope encourages us to persevere in our faith, to live with purpose and meaning, and to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. Number four, the ultimate expression of God's grace is seen in the redemptive work of Christ on the cross. Jesus' death and resurrection provide the way for us to be saved, forgiven, and made new. His work on the cross is the foundation of our faith and the source of our salvation. May we always keep these truths before us, that the grace of God is available to all. It transforms us. It gives us hope and is made possible through the redemptive work of Christ. And let us share with others this amazing grace so that they too may experience the salvation and transformation that comes from knowing Jesus, our Lord and Savior. May God bless and keep you, my friends, in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen.